the first place you see if you come by train. I'm not going to tell you any historical facts. For me, it's just one more sign of Stalin epoch. Funny that when I was at the university, it was a dream to get to the rooftop and to make some photos of Minsk. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to do that. And yes, these buildings have high ceilings and thick walls, so you can listen to death metal and your neighbors will never know. When you see some red brick buildings in Minsk, know that they were built in the beginning of 20th century. I wish we had them more instead of new buildings with no character and soul. But to tell the truth, sometimes I look at these buildings and think, if it's safe to live there? <laughs> no, nobody lives there. There are only offices, some small shops and cafes. My favorite place to relax is so-called Red Church. Interesting fact that in the beginning of the USSR there was theater and cinema. So once you're in Minsk, please don't miss the opportunity to go inside and look at the magnificent interior of this church. Everything is wet, no place to sit down. Oh yeah, baby. It's nice. <laughs> but now it's less today is sunny, so let's dance. <laughs> one of the best places to sit down, relax, have a cup of coffee, to look around, to make new friends. Obviously I'm talking about summertime because you see now it's winter and you can hardly uh, see two, three people on the streets. Reminds me whipped cream. So, how about you? Mostly Minsk consists of grey buildings. So this yellow one is just a nice exception. By the way, there is a nice coffee shop where you can have your cup of germ. It's up to you, espresso, cappuccino, whatever. And also you can order fresh baked croissant with chocolate or just a plain one. 
Ah, 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 ah,